So if you stumble on this video, it means that you want to improve, and that you've been watching guides and you've been watching builds and nothing to ha nothing has been working out. Your teammates haven't been making a good job either, and at the end of the day, everything is very frustrating. But I want you to understand something. League of Legends is a very complex game on the higher ranks. On the lower ranks, not so much. Guides will help you develop the habits that you need to be a good jungler or a good laner in a theoretic way. But in reality, there's a lot of things that these people are not telling you, especially to you, the lower elo. It's very funny because if you've ever used Blitz or Professor Dodge G, which I'm assuming that you have, these programs give you great stats like gold per minute, CS per minute, vision per minute, but no one really pays attention to this. Everyone just wants to get good KDAs, make flashy plays, and I want you to get something clear. This is not a team game in the solo queue ladder, and especially in the lower elos. This is not the game that you see on the LCS or when you're playing with your friends or when you see streamers, uh, streamers play. The solo queue in the lower ranks, it's all about outstatting your enemies. It's about getting that power curve going. It's about dying less, looking at the minimap more. Yes, you can get 10 CS per minute at the first 10 minutes, but what about the next 10 minutes and 20 minutes? Do you have still the same 100 CS because you've been taking meaningless fights? Yes, I'm looking at you, 70 CS at 20 minutes, low elo junglers. Have you been dying to every single gank because because if you see the jungler, if be, because you've been seeing the jungler going bot layer, or wait, you didn't see the jungler either way, didn't you? The lower rank, it's all about cleaning your gameplay. It's all about understanding that dragons won't win you games, Herald won't win you games, play the strong, playing the strongest champion won't win you games. It's about understanding that if there's five enemies doing dragon and there's only one alive of your team, don't go there. If the enemy Jax is level 16 and you're level 11, do not fight him. If the enemy team is doing Baron and you are significantly weaker, don't fight it. These are very simple things that can make you a way better player than you what you are right now. No, you don't have to get 200 CS at 20 minutes. You can have 150 and 160, and that's still very good. No, you don't have to track the enemy jungler every single second. Just place a ward and look at it. And you don't, ta don't take it the wrong way. Heralds, dragons, and these things are very, very important and will be needed later on. But for now, let's focus on farming, fighting less, pushing tower moors, and getting strong so that we are gonna be useful. Let's put it into perspective. Cristiano Ronaldo is such a good player because he's fast, he's precise with his shots, and he's a, he has great physical ability, and because of this, it doesn't, made it, it doesn't really matter what team he plays on. He will do great. Same thing in other sports, maybe LeBron James, maybe you know, a lot of other great players that you have heard mention. So these players get the fundamentals of the game and they can get them consistently so that the performance allow them to just be able to destroy the opposition. And lastly, and the worst part of this game, is that it's this game is a grind. No, 20 games won't be enough, not 30, not 50. You'll need thousands and thousands of games to be able to make these things a habit so that you can get good performances unconsciously. And if you're not willing to put in the effort, then I'm really sorry, but maybe this game is not for you. But sad story, this is not just going to be this game. This is going to be life itself when you're learning something new. So yeah, don't get discouraged because you're going to be losing. And you're going to be losing a lot. And by a lot, I mean at least 35% of your games by default. So, you know, but just play something that you enjoy, get that farm going, get used to the champion, get used to the items, get used to the builds, look at the minimap, and you'll see how great you're going to start doing. So yeah, if you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe, that would help me out a lot, and as always, stay healthy, drink lots of water, and have fun on the Rift Guide. See you in the next video.